Okay, in a previous video, we talked about exporting data from PowerShell, and we talked about exporting it with the idea of I can export that data and I can send it to somebody else. But another thing we can do with that exported data is we can set um, we can set a baseline, so something that we can come back and look at later and see what's changed. And we can do that by comparing objects. Now, there's another, there are other reasons to compare objects, by the way, but this is just going to be an example. It's going to allow us to do that compare object command lib. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a get, oops, let me get to the right thing. I'm going to do a get service, and that gives me all of my services, right? If I want to view just running services, I can do this. Get running, or get service, pipe it to where object and if we have not introduced the where object command yet don't worry about it we're going to do it a little bit later on we're going to do a video focused just on where object and how we can select and filter so where object dollar sign underscore period status dash eq running and like i said if you're not comfortable with this don't worry about it we're going to talk it'll talk about it a little bit later on I'm going to go ahead and pipe that to more. And now this gives me all of my services, but only the ones that are running. Notice there's nothing here that says status equals stopped. So that's cool. Um, now, what happens if I wanted to save this? Because this tells me all of my running services, right? I might want to save this for later because I might want to be able to come back and compare, you know, six months from now. Do I have other services that are running that weren't before? And is that why I might be having issues with my system? Or, I mean, is something not running that should be whatever? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to save this as a baseline. So I'm going to do this, and I am going to export this to a CSV file. I'm going to call it running services.csv. And that should give me just my running services. And then I can import CSV running services, not S-E-R-V, I-C-E-S, there we go, dot CSV, and that will show me all of my running services. Different format, but that's okay. We'll worry about that later on. Okay, now, I am going to get service, and I want to look specifically at the bit service, and it stopped, so I'm going to start it. and do start service bits. Now, the whole reason for that little escapade is so that we now have two different sets of running services. Let me do another one. I'm going to stop service spooler. I'm not going to need to print for a minute, so I'll just stop the service. Okay, so now I have different services than I had before. So what I want to do is I want to compare my current service. I can get service where object dollar sign underscore period status equals running and that will show me my running services again which is cool but it's only going to show me my running services I want to compare this list with my previous list okay now that's where we use our compare object command lib so here's what this is going to look like it's going to be compare object, and you can do get help on compare object for more things. But, in fact, let's actually do that real quick. Get help on compare object. And basically, this will compare two different sets of objects. So right here, compare two sets of objects. We need a reference object, and we need a difference object. And then we can also specify if we care about case sensitivity, do we want to exclude anything different, include equal, pass through? Do we want to look at specific properties? That can be really, really helpful sometimes, especially if you're dealing with something like proce uh, processes, where if you don't specify, only show me the name, it'll show you any difference, right? So if a process at one point, it'll use two seconds of process time, and another set point, when you're doing a compare, to use three, it'll highlight it. So uh, sorting that by property or limiting that to only looking at one property or a few properties makes sense. But with that in mind, let's do this. Let's do compare object, and I want my reference object to be my, uh, 
original list. So if you remember, we can do in parentheses, and we talked about this in the video about linking PowerShell commands together. I want to do an import CSV running services.csv. So that's going to do its in parentheses first. It's going to read this and put that in as my reference objects. And then my difference objects, I want my current running services. So I'm going to do get service type it to where object dollar sign underscore period status dash eq running and then I just actually let me run just this first so this will pull in it'll import everything boy that was exciting it will import everything and then it will from my running services and then it'll compare it to my git service and then anything that looks different it highlights well this was way more than I wanted in fact this was not what I wanted at all so I'm going to, like we talked about, I'm going to specify the property, only look at the property name and show me if there is any difference. And look, there's a whole bunch of things that are different. So, looks like my bit service stopped again. So here are the services and then the side indicator. So these are the names of the services that were in my reference. So site indicator uh, pointing this way means they were in the reference object, but not in the difference object. Let me start service bits again and then run this. Okay, there we go. So it says basically all of these things were in my reference object, my running services.csv, and this one, bits, pointing the other direction, was in here, my current one, but not in my reference object. That's what that side indicator means. Now, using this technique, I can create a baseline, and you can do other things with comparing objects too, right? It'll compare any type of object. But this, in this example, I can use it to establish a baseline of whatever, right? Anything I can get, save it in a CSV file, I can come back later, I can pull it again and use my compare object to compare what I had originally with what I have now, just using this little technique. So, that's how we can compare data in PowerShell. And like I said, we can pull it from a variety of different things. So I could do a compare object and I could run a get services on one computer and compare them with services running on another computer or whatever. So wherever I can pull objects from, I can use compare object to compare those different sets of objects together and have it tell me what's different.